Member for Upper Hunter. And as Speaker, it's my privilege to ask the first question to the Minister for Roads. Radio. Off you go. I'm oh, sorry, I can't hear the member for other conversations in the chamber, including on the government benches, front bench. Member. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Minister, how is the New South Wales government reducing the cost of living for its road infrastructure agenda? Thank you. Call the Minister for Roads. We have to start the noise before the Minister's even at the microphone. All the experts everywhere. They're all experts. Minister has the call. We'll be heard in silence. Thank you, Madam, Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's nice to be here, finally. <laughs> I thank the member for Upper Hunter for his question. And after travelling from Gloucester to Sydney with you yesterday, your advocacy for the people of the Upper Hunter was at the forefront of all our conversations. They are fortunate to have such a quality member. Do we need to start interjecting members of the opposition? Because you're going to be out of the chamber now. The member for Upper Hunter is part of a team, part of a government that is determined to improve the lives of all our citizens through better infrastructure. We know that member better infrastructure will not only ease congestion but unlock economic opportunities not just in the cities but in the regions. We are working to ensure people spend less time in their cars and more time with their families. It's not, about the big, it's not only about the large-scale projects like North Connects opening in 2019 and West Connects that will be a game-changer in terms of unlocking the potential of Western Sydney. Connecting the North, the South, the East and the West like never before. We have a congestion-busting plan for the state because under those opposite, the only plan was a no plan. We on the side of the house are on the side of the mums and the dads, the small business owners, farmers, manufacturers, we want to get them home sooner and unlock the potential of an efficient freight network. But it's not uh, there is too much noise in the chamber. But it's not just about building motorways, it's about addressing the choke points across the Sydney road network, which is why we've allocated almost a billion dollars for the pinch points program. On Friday I was with the member for Miranda and the member for Heathcote who know their roads have improved since 2011, with the $300 million that has been spent on pitch points in southern Sydney, including the Princes Highway, King George's Road, Heathcote Road and Grand Parade. As we inspected the work on Alford Point Road, which will add another lane to this heavily reused um, section. We also, we've never before in the history of this state seen the investment in country New South That's Wales. Right. Do you realise that we've actually increased the roads budget? You'll be interested in this, the Member for Kira. On your last year in office, by what do you expect it to be? 30 per cent, 40 per cent, 50 per cent, 60 per cent? Member for Strathfield Rise is not a point of order. Madam Speaker, could you ask the Minister to direct her uh, comments through the chair, please? Oh, wow. <laughs> Resume your seat. Ask the Minister to direct her comments through the chair. Madam Speaker, I was pointing out to the former Deputy, Deputy Secretary of the RMS that we have increased the roads budget since we came to office this year by 105 per cent. 105 per cent on your opposition line. members will come. If they want to have a conversation, can they take it outside before I actually exciting. ask them to go outside? Some are rude. Typically but the exciting news is people. for those that represent regional New South Wales, we've been able to ensure that 66 per cent of that funding is going Member to the Member for Fairfield, if you want to have a chat, could you have a chat outside? The country New South Wales were left in a state of disrepair. We're investing $300 million as part of Bridges for the Bush. We're building new bridges in places like Burrawan, Badara, Gundagai and Karathul. In addition, we've also got $500 million going to the Fixing Country Roads initiative. It's exciting to these communities to see the change, to see the improvement in the freight network, to see safer and better roads. I'd also uh, like to, to highlight the work of the member for Terrigal, another member I visited recently, having a look at the, the great changes that are happening on the Central Coast, the upgrades on the Pacific Highway precincts around Gosford and the Wyong areas, which are currently used by approximately 27,000 vehicles a day. 
These projects have already been, these projects have already been completed. Dog Trap Road, Marimba, Pacific Highway between Glen Road and Burns Road, Pacific Highway, San Remo, and Anzac Road to Johnson Road. The list goes on. And whether you're in the Clarence, we've got a, you know the biggest big, the biggest bridge busting project, the new crossing over the Grafton after the, over the Clarence River, the Grafton Bridge. Work has already started construction. Wherever you look in this state, the investment that we are spending on our road infrastructure is making a real difference, whether you're in the city or whether you're in the country. After years of neglect of those opposites, our infrastructure projects are getting this state moving again and, most importantly, allowing people to spend more time with their families. Member for Upper Hunter, the Minister's completed her answer. The Leader of the